Hi guys, this is our latest bike, uh, full suspension bike. It's a Giant Anthem. This bike came, um, it's a, uh, one of our highest end uh, full suspension bikes. We're having a hard time keeping KHS bikes in stock. We made a deal with Giant. Uh, this is one of their higher end uh, full suspension bikes that we think our guys are gonna love because if you're gonna do it with the best drive system and the best battery in the world, you might as well have the most awesome bike. It's a, it's a wicked combination. Everybody who ride, who's ridden it has loved it. It's a, a very good off-road performance bike uh, with the 1500 watt motor with the upgrade option up to 2500 watts. And it's not just that this is a good bike, like Eric says, this bike is awesome. Like I've ridden so many bikes in my life and I have never gotten on a bike and, and ridden it around and bunny hopped with it and, and that is just this much fun. And a lot of it has to do with the components. So you can see this is just not a cheap bike. You know, they went with the Rhythm 34, it's a Fox Shock. This blows away all of the, of the Rock Shocks that I have. I'm, and, and I'm really becoming a huge fan of Fox. I mean, it's just like, it just, it just feels so much better than, than Rock Shocks. And then it's got the, the Fox Evol uh, FCS shock here for a rear shock. And it's hard to explain how good this feels, but let me just put it to you this way. With my full suspension trail bike, I can only ride it with a Thudbuster LT because it hurts my ass too much. And with this thing, even with a hard seat, even without the thud buster, it is more cushy than my other full suspension bike with the Rock Shocks with the thud buster. I mean, this thing is just like, it just feels so awesome. I would not hesitate at all to jump this thing three or four feet in the air, even though it's only got 120 uh, millimeters of compression on the front fork, it's still gonna land you everything just right. The tires are great, it's a 27.5 and I've, you know, I think 27.5 is going to be the future. Like everybody wants a 27.5. I ride a 29er because I'm just a huge guy, but most people really love the 20, 27.5 and the 26s are just going away. I mean, this really is what people want. It's got the X11 drivetrain and you know, I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant about the, the going with an 11 speed chain, but I tell you, you know, they're just using really quality components for everything and the cassette is steel, so I feel pretty strongly like this bike is gonna hold up. The other thing that you'll notice is that these guys are totally taking it to the next level with the way they're routing the cables inside the frame of the bike. Like, I would never do that if it was my build. And the electrical, <laughs> electrical stuff too, not yeah, just the bike stuff. And yeah, the electrical, the, the wiring, and then they've got the gear sensor mounted here. Usually I mount the gear sensor over here, it looks like crap, you know, it's like everything is so clean and organized, and it just looks like it looks like a $10,000 bike when it comes out of the box. When you get on it and ride it, it feels like a $10,000 e-bike. I mean, it's just crazy. And then they give you all these freebies. Like, yeah, we got you know, the like bell. You got a free bell. You get free lights. And the rear lights I really like because they're tiny and they work just yeah, as great. Yeah, you can just throw them in your pocket. You know, if you got to go on the road and, and you got to ride at night, it's like... They don't take any handlebar space. Handlebar space, I'm starting to realize, is precious, precious on an e-bike. E like when we're planning, up, when we're planning our own builds, it's like, wow, where are we going to put the dash? Where are we going to put this? It's it's really hard when where are you going to put the throttle? It interferes with the gear shifter, and you know, like I've realized that the handlebar is like one of your most precious commodities of space. Like you don't, you know, like you really got to you know, uh, pay attention on what you put up here. If we put a full size light up here, it starts to feel cluttered. Yeah, and, and, and it starts looking more like an e-bike too. Like this thing really doesn't look like an e-bike. So if you want to get on a trail and ride around, as long as you're not stopping and talking to people, they're probably not even going to know that you're on an e-bike because it looks just like a full suspension bike. When you cruise by them, as long as you're at a low power level, they probably won't notice the battery. You know, it's just, everything is super stealth. It's great. It's got the 180 millimeter front rotor, which I really like. And it's got the 160 rear. Shimano and, 615 and it's brakes. it's got the yep. 615 hydraulic brakes, which yeah. just, you know, they feel awesome. You know, everything about this bike just feels awesome. And I don't say that about every bike. And then the other really cool thing is Giant has kind of copied the, the RockShox dropper seat post and you can basically push the seat up and down automatically. Well, and it doesn't, it doesn't knock the rear light off. Yeah, and it's, like, <laughs> and it's awesome because you can go, when you're, when you're riding on the road or you're riding on the flats and you want power, you want the seat all the way up. And when you press that button on the handlebars, it just comes right up to your butt and it just feels 
like, wow, that's really cool. It's like the yeah. Tesla when you walk up to it and the door and handles it, come out to you and present. It's like that kind of technology. And I want to say something real quick, and this kind of sum it up for us, is that the giant bike is what a lot of these electric bikes are trying to be. These uh, 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 suspension off-road mountain bikes expensive. that look like that look like this kind of, but they don't have the performance that a giant or a KHS or something was built to be a bike because they're Chinese made, and they make and they make concessions. They skimp every chance they get. They but a giant is a bike company, and they're selling to bike people. And if you get one thing wrong. On a on a two thousand five hundred dollar bike, they're gonna get bike. they're gonna get trashed yeah. on mountainbiker.com. Like these guys got a yeah. reputation to withhold for making like the paint job. Like everything is absolutely beautiful on this bike. They got every detail right, and no electric bike company can build that, including us, because we haven't been building bikes for ten years or twenty years and stood uh, and stood out in that very competitive market. I think Giant's one of the three biggest brands. It's a and great bikes, brand. yeah, it's a great brand. They're known for being affordable. Then we get them at a better price than even that, so that we can pass that on to you guys. And what you get here is something that looks awesome, but actually performs awesome. So it's not just, you know, we don't, we're not one of those companies that exaggerate performance claims. We're always playing it down, down yeah. you know, because we don't want to get in trouble or whatever. But this, this thing actually will take you very it's fast. Good. This bike will <laughs> deliver the goods. And yeah. the thing is, is that like, I can, honestly can't imagine someone ordering this bike and saying, wow, I am not satisfied with this purchase. Yeah. I really can't imagine that. And there's a yeah. lot of other e-bikes that I couldn't say that about. Yeah, that you ride them, you're disappointed. But or they're... nobody's going to be, doesn't matter what you're using this bike for, you're not going to be disappointed. So Now, in every component, we improved on some of the KHS parts. We didn't like crappy pedals. So we got really nice pedals that would, were costing us 60 bucks, 60 bucks wholesale from um, quality bike parts before we got our own source and bought them a thousand at a time. And everything, part by part, we think we're getting all the parts to bring this bike together. We machine the uh, conversion pieces to hold the drive together. Right, yeah, so this it's, has a press fit adapter, yeah, so, so they built it just, you know, so that they could do it with any bike. And it also has, uh, you know, a really clean chain line. And that's super, you, make take, it, you take a bike like this to Interbike, it'll hold its ground and, and kick the ass of any other bike at Interbike. I mean, this is just, yeah, there, there's no DIY bike here. And the other part is, is that we can adjust this bike. Uh, a big thing when you get any bike, you, even if you buy a giant bike out of the box, it's, you I don't think they should, the you gotta take it to a bike and mechanic get and get it all dialed in. And yep. we're doing that here. We're checking every yep. wheel, make sure it's true. We, we test ride each bike for a quarter mile and um, to, uh, fine tune the derailleur. And you know, that, that's something new that I don't think electric bike uh, companies, so maybe they all come racing to market with mid drives now, but they're gonna have to figure out uh, well, that's the thing with yeah. mid drives. It's like your derailleur adjustment's off, the bike isn't going to work right, and people are going to be disappointed. So it's right. like we, you want every bike that's delivered to be perfect right out right. of the box. Right, right. And, and if you don't know how to shift, you better get a gear sensor because, you know, I mean, right. it'll make it a lot easier. Yeah. And installing the gear sensor, I was telling Carl last night, you know, people, oh, should I get a gear sensor? And it's like 50 bucks or whatever, but it's not just the gear sensor must take an hour for somebody who doesn't know what they're doing to install because it takes our guys you know 30 40 minutes to get it right and it's not an easy component to install you know and um, a lot of this stuff is especially on a full suspension bike to get it right is not so easy and I can imagine you know it takes our guys maybe about four hours to put this bike together and um, I can't imagine if you were starting from the beginning. There's no way you're going to be able to do it in four hours if you've never done a right. bike conversion. And these guys yeah. have done hundreds of them, and it's, it's four hours. Yeah, and we're try trying to get the price as low as we can get it to where you can buy it from us. And, you know, like, it, it, it'd be about the same as if you went and bought the bike and, and bought the components and put it together. I don't think you're saving that much no, money by building no, it yourself. No. So that's yeah. it. That's the giant Anthem 2. And, man, it's just a, it's a great bike. I mean, I love it. All right. Yeah. Cool. Psh. Mm-hmm. <laughs>